Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and today I am here with the next two games in the Cleveland White Sox series. If you recall, and if you watched the last um, video that I put up with Cleveland against Cleveland, we had won both of the first two games against the Indians. And uh, so let's see where we are now. So we go to league stats, and you can see that we are 10 and 4. We are a game and a half behind Minnesota, who is 13 and 4. Um, looking around some of the other teams, you've got the uh, Yankees leading the East at eight at nine and five. Then uh, Baltimore at eight and seven, surprisingly. Tampa Bay at seven and seven. Boston at eight and eight, and Toronto at seven and ten. Um, and then in the West, um, so here we've got well Cleveland in the in the Central. Cleveland is now five and ten, and we're ten and four, and Kansas City six and eight. But it's really look. I mean, right now it looks like a two horse race between us and Minnesota. Then in the West, you got Oakland at eleven and five, an, an impressive eleven and five, and then Texas at eight and six, and L.A. the L.A. Angels at eight and six, Houston at eight and eight, and Seattle at five and nine, and then uh, in the National League, you got the Mets winning the East at seven and five, Washington at nine and seven. Atlanta at seven and nine, Philadelphia at six and eight, Miami at four and eight. And then the central, you got Milwaukee at 10 and four, Cincinnati at 10 and six. And then the rest of the pack there, St. Louis is seven and nine, Pittsburgh five and seven, and Chicago's five and 11, surprisingly. And then Arizona winning the West so far at eight and six with LA nine and seven and in a practical tie with them. And then Colorado only a half game behind those two at seven and six. So that's what you got there. And then if we look at the White Sox statistics so far, 10 and four and uh, Home record is 10 and four. As I've mentioned, we have, we opened the season with a 22 game home streak. So we haven't played on the road yet at all. Um, Mendick hitting 469. That's pretty impressive. Um, Mazzara at 325, which is very good for him. Anderson at 309, which is a little under, but again, Remember, I had altered Anderson's card a little bit to take maybe a hit away from each side because last year, I mean, we don't know if last year was just going to be his career year, like a one-time deal. And we also don't know that even if he continues to hit a lot better than he did in the past, whether he's going to hit quite that well. So um, I was treating last year kind of like a, at least a little bit of an outlier so it would be understandable that he would be doing not quite as well so far um abreu 298 with only two home runs that's kind of surprising but jimenez has got six home runs and 12 rbis and encarnacion has four home runs and 13 rbis so we're hitting 274 as a team with um, 31 homers in 14 games, so that's good. And we got a 429 team ERA, which I guess is okay. I mean, you know, it's it's pretty good, for, especially for the American League. Uh, you got Lopez, Ronaldo Lopez, three and O with a 343 earned run average. He's been pitching really well. Um. And Ciszek has been pitching well out of the pen, only in four innings, but, you know, that's all we needed him to do. And, of course, uh, Giolito pitching really well, 2-1 and one with a 235 earned run average. Um, so, yeah, that's where we are um, so far. I want to take a little look there. But let's get into today's 
final two games of the um, Cleveland series, of the current Cleveland series. Um, so we'll play day. And that gives us our home game. And they are recommending Keuchel, but um, no, I think this has to be uh, this has to be Geo. So we will write that down to make sure that we got him. in the rotation. I mean, if we went back to Keuchel, that would be Keuchel pitching on three days rest and uh, in a four-man, in a virtual four-man rotation, and we're not going to be doing that. So, um, so yeah, we're going up against Plutko in the first game, and I'll take the lineup as it is. Let's turn the sound down more. And let's get going with Lindor. And he grounds out to short. Mercado up. And he strikes out. And uh, Santana, Carlos Santana, will ground out to short to uh, Timmy Anderson. So the Indians come away with nothing in the first. And we got Tim Anderson leading off in the bottom of the first. And he hits. A ground ball to shortstop and is out. Lori Garcia lines out. And that brings up Johan Moncada. And he strikes out. So, no runs in the first for either team. And uh, Jose Ramirez leads off the second for the Indians and grounds to second base. Fran Mil Reyes strikes out. So far, Gonzalez is really sharp here. And then Carlos Hernandez lines out. Or Cesar Hernandez, sorry. So we got Encarnacion up at the plate in the bottom of first. And uh, to lead off the bottom of the first, I'll let him swing away and he walks. Plutko walks him and then Abreu steps in. And he hits a ground ball to short. And that brings up Grandall. And I'm going to let Grandall swim away. And he grounds to short. So Luplo leading off in the top of the third. And maybe a home run. Yeah, it is. Home run for Luplo. So the Indians have a one nothing lead on a leadoff home run by Luplo, and Shields is grounding the third. And he boots it. Mancata boots it. So the Shields is aboard now um, with no outs, and Leon up, and he's going to try to sacrifice him over, and he does. So now we got a runner at second with one out. And uh, we're going to throw for a runner, and he's out. Nice. And Lindor is up. They got a little greedy there because Lindor would have knocked him in. So Mercado's up. Uh, we'll throw. See what happens. I mean, really, it's important, more important to just get the, the batter. If you get the batter, you don't have to worry about the guy with two outs and that's it so the Indians do get a run on a leadoff home run by Jordan Luplo and Jimenez will swing away and now he's flying out that's going to be a fly out and Mazzara's up Mazzara grounding out to second And Mendick. And Mendick is going to hit a double. Mendick. 
meant to go shopping at the Gap, and we got Tim Anderson up and not tying the game, as we had hoped. So, so uh, we get nothing in the third. We go to the top of the fourth with the Indians leading one nothing, and that's going to be a ground ball out for Santana. Jose Ramirez up, and he's going to line out or pop out the third. I'm surprised at how how much we're holding the Indians down here offensively. I mean, it's really crazy. And Reyes might be out, and he is. So the Indians go quickly in the fourth, and we go to the bottom of the fourth. The Indians leading one nothing, and Garcia striking out to lead off the White Sox part of the fourth. Mancata is going to be out, ground ball. And that brings up Ben Canarcio. And he walks for the second time. With Abreu up. Come on, Abreu, man. No, he grounds out to short, probably, because Lindor's a one. And he is. He makes the play. So Cesar Hernandez is up against Gonzalez in the top of the fifth. Gonzalez, if nothing else, he's giving us a really good game here. But that's going to be a triple. And that's going to be the pass ball is going to allow the runners to score. So, I mean, I was planning on the run probably scoring anyway. And Luke Blow hits a single. He has been really a fire in our face this game. And the Shields is up, and he is going to try to sacrifice him over, and he does. Leon is up, and Leon flies out. So that's two down in the fifth. And Lindor up. I probably should not have pitched to him. And that was a pass ball. But there's a strikeout. So, so Gonzalez is holding us in this, but we, we got to get him a run. Uh, Grandal leading off on the bottom of the fourth, and he does tie the game on a home run off of Plutko. So that brings up Jimenez, and Jimenez is going to triple one to three, but no, it'll be a fly out. So there's one down here in the bottom of the fourth in a tie game at one with Mazzara up, and Mazzara hitting a ground ball to the second. That's Hernandez. Can he make the play? And he does. So Mendick is up. He's one for one with a double so far, and he hits the ball to second base. And he's out. But we did tie the game. So um, Mercado is leading off in the top of the sixth against Gio, who's locked in a struggle here at Tylus. Or a 1-1 uh, tie. And, oh, man, he misplayed the ball. So now Mercado is on second with Santana up, and he hits a single, which is going to score the run. Maybe, but I'm going to stop the other runner. So uh, they got the Indians have a 2-1 lead now, and there's a line out for Ramirez, and that's the first out of the sixth inning. Fran Mill Reyes is up, and he strikes out. And that brings up Cesar Hernandez. And he's going to home run one to six triple. So he's going to triple in uh, Santana at least. And the Indians will take a three to one lead. And I'm going to pitch to Luplo even with a tired Gonzalez. And he does strike him out to get us out of the inning. But it is three to one. Tim Anderson leading off. And he strikes out. Plutko is just pitching amazing here. Lurie Garcia strikes out, and I've got Plutko in one of my stratomatic leagues, so I hope he pitches like this a lot, at least for me. And there's a line out plus injury. And he can continue in the game. 
luckily. Uh, we're going to push Gonzalez a little bit here. He grounds out. Sandy Leone strikes out. And Lindor is up. And he hits a fly ball. So, Gonzalez got out of the inning even though he was tired. And that's good. It bought us another inning. Encarnacion is going to fly out to Allen. Abreu up. Abreu really has been having a, a pretty poor season for us. And that brings up Grandall. And he walks. Jimenez up. And that's going to be a triple one to three, but it's a fly ball. So nothing comes across there. And we are going to, oh, Pluto's tired now. We're going to take, uh, We're going to take Gonzalez out of the game. And I'm going to put in column A. Because we still have a chance at winning this game. It's it's three to one. It's not that bad. Ground ball to shortstop. Santana up. And he strikes out. And Jose Ramirez is up. And he flies out. So we're still down by two. Going to the bottom of the eighth. And Mazzara up. He'll swing away. Strikes out, though. Mendick up. And he strikes out. And Anderson up. And Anderson's going to hit a home run if they don't rob it. But Allen could definitely rob this home run. And it is. It's a home run. So it's three to two. And that brings up Lurie Garcia. And he singles. With Moncada up. And he singles. And I am going to send the lead runner at 90% of the chance. And Olsen is tired, and Encarnacion is up. And they bring in Brad Hand. And he strikes out. He strikes out Encarnacion. But we're only down by a run. And I'm going to keep Colome out there, and he gets a fly ball to Fran Mill Reyes. Cesar Hernandez is going to hit a double. Greg Allen is going to walk. So there's runners at first and second with one out. And shields it up. And he hits a ground ball to short. Hopefully Anderson plays this. I mean, a double play would be nice, but... Yeah, all right. So he got an out, though. And that brings up Leon, and they're going to probably. What are they doing? All right. No, they're going to let him hit. And he hits a ground ball to the pitcher. And he got. Him. So we're down by a run, bottom of the ninth. It's three to two, and Abreu is up at the plate. I'm going to let him swing away. And he strikes out. That brings up Grandall. I'll let him swing away. And he strikes out. And Jimenez is up, our home run leader. And he strikes out. He hand struck out the side. Nice. We didn't even give it the old college try. All right. So we lose that game 3 2 in a heartbreaker. <laughs> Indians go to six and ten, we go to ten and five.
Gonzalez gets a loss, but he pitched well. So that brings up the next game. And this is Cleveland at Chicago. Zach Playsack will be pitching against us. We'll play the day out. And then uh, that brings it to us. And I don't know why they got Buenuelos starting. We would want to go back to Keuchel. So um, Keuchel is going to be pitching. Playsack is a righty who's a 4L, so it's kind of weird. Um, I think we we got to win this game, and Abreu has been terrible so far. So we're going to put McCann at catcher, and we're going to move Grandall to first base. Um, yeah, I think we'll go with that, and then play ball with Keiko pitching. Mark this down. So, pitching a Lindor to lead it off. Triple one to five for a single. Mercado up. And he hits a single. And runners are now at the corners with no outs. And a walk to Santana, so Keiko is low to the bases with no outs to lead off the game. With Jose Ramirez up, and he is going to hit a grand slam. So it's 4 nothing. So it looks like we're headed for maybe a split with the Indians, but we'll see. A home run 1-12, to that's a fly ball, though. So that'll be the first out of the inning. Never know. Sometimes our offense is just world beaters, and then sometimes it gets beaten down. But there's a fly ball to Cesar Hernandez, or for Cesar Hernandez. And now Lupo is up, and he walks. Two outs, the shield's up. And he hits the ground ball to Mendick in second. And he got it. So it's 4 nothing though, as we come to the plate for the first time. And Anderson grounds out. Garcia is up. Three outs, two on. He singles. That brings up Moncada. And Moncada is going to hit a ground ball to the shortstop. And just a reminder, if you haven't seen Robert, Lewis Robert, that there's a reason for that. He was injured for 15 games. He's still on the disabled list. Although I will check that, but I think he still is. Um, and there's an out that ends the inning. So we go to the top of the second, still down 4 nothing, and uh, Sandy Leone is grounding out. The computer is loving Sandy Leone. I mean, the catcher really should be that, uh, that other guy. Um, I forget his name, but Lindor with a single. Mercado is up, and uh, we're going to throw definitely, and he's out big time. And Mercado is up, and he is going to line out. So Keuchel gets us out of the second, although he still has us down 4 nothing. And uh, this is McCann with a walk. That brings up Grand Dahl, and Grand Dahl strikes out. Jimenez is up, and Jimenez walks. So we got two runners on with one out. Be nice if we could capitalize here with Mazzara at the plate, and he is going to double. That's nice. I mean, you know, it's a run with one out still, and maybe two. I'm going to send the lead runner. So yeah, it's four to two now, so that's good. 
Mendick up at the plate, and he singles, and Mazzara may not score. We'll see. 50%, now I'm going to hold. Tim Anderson up, and he flies out to center field, but that will get the third run in, and so now it's 4-3. And we're right back in it. And Lori Garcia is up, up and tripling one to two, and he does triple. Holy crap. Triple over to Shields' head. So it is 4-4. Four, four. We got four runs to answer them an inning later. And there's a walk for Moncada. So we got runners at the corners. Playsack getting his butt handed to him. And Encarnacion walks to load up the bases. Man. And McCann up at the plate. And he, let's hope that the catcher can't make the play, but he probably can. And he did, but we tied the game, so that's good. We're right back in this now. Fly ball, Santana. So there's one down. Jose Ramirez is going to ground out. And that brings up Framil Reyes, and he walks. Cesar Hernandez is going to hit a ground ball to first base, and that'll be that. So, Grandall up the plate. Tie game. And he hits a ground ball to short, which is Lindor, and that probably be an out. And it is. Jimenez is up. He'll swing away. He flies out. And that brings up Mazzara, who will swing away. And he grounds out. So after three, we got a score of 4-4. Four, four. Luplo leading off for the Indians. And he's going to double. Luplo has just really been a thorn in our side this entire series. The shield's up, and he walks. So the first two, again, Keiko going into his little, you know, bad Keiko mode. Pop out to Leon, no, so you know, rally killer. Lindor up, and he hits a ground ball to the pitcher. Hopefully he makes the play. And a double play. Good. Nice. So, bottom of the fourth, tie game, Mendick up and doubling. And Tim Anderson up. I'm going to let him hit because he's really a good hitter, but he strikes out. I should, man, I was thinking of sacrificing. But you don't do that generally with a hitter like Anderson up. And Lurie Garcia is out. And so we got two outs with a runner at second and Moncada up at the plate. And he hits a fly ball to left. And now that's loop low, so maybe it'll drop. You never know. And no, it doesn't. So top of the fifth, Mercado up, and he is going to single. Keuchel is getting hit kind of hard here. I mean, well, kind of often. Uh, pass ball allows Mercado to go to second, and now a hit by pitch on Santana. And that brings up Ramirez. Ramirez is going to hit a ground ball to third base B. So runners are at the corners now with one out. Fran Mil Reyes up, and he singles in a run. And I'm going to try to throw for the lead runner. And he didn't get him. So now there's runners at second and third, but there's a line out for Hernandez. So nobody will score there. So the Indians have a 5-4 lead. We have two outs here in the uh, fifth inning. And that's a strikeout for Luke. So we're down by a run again. And Canarcion is going to swing away against Playsack. And he flies out. James McCann up, and he'll swing away, and he grounds out. 
And that brings up Grand Dahl, who I will have swing away. And he is going to hit a home run and tie the game. Thank you, Grand Dahl. So, tie game, five all. Jimenez up at the plate. And he walks. Mazzara up. And Mazzara strikes out. So we got a five all tie. Top of the sixth. The shields up at the plate to lead off for the Indians and striking out. Leon is up. And Leon is going to single. Lindor up. Lindor hits a ground ball to second. Hopefully Mendick can at least get one. Yeah, twin killing. All right, double play. Nice. And Mendick, who's two for two with a double, is going to lead off for us in the bottom of the sixth. And hits a ground ball to Lindor at short. Tim Anderson is lining out. Tim Anderson's having a terrible two games here, end of the series. And Lurie Garcia up. And he hits a double one to 11. It's going to be a double. And doubling in the gap. So let's see who's up. Mechanic, I think. No, Mancada. So come on, Mancada. Strikes out. All right. Top of the seventh. 5-5 five, five, and a ground ball for Mercado. He's going to ground out to lead off the seventh. Santana's up, and he hits a fly ball to center. And Jose Ramirez, and he flies out. So Keuchel not pitching well, but keeping us in this game. 5-5, five, five, bottom of the seventh. And Canarcion swing away. And he hits a ground ball to third, but that's Ramirez. He'll probably be played for an out. No, he boots the ball. Nice. And McCann is up. And McCann walks. So now we got two runners on. Grand ball up. And he walks to load up the bases. And that should bring up. Who's that bring up? Jimenez. Nice. Our home run leader, it looks like he's going to the bullpen, and he brings in Nick Whitgren. And Nick Whitgren is going to give up a fly ball, run scoring, fly ball. And I'm probably going to have the option to move McCann to third, but I don't know. Let's see. No, I am not going to do that. So we do get the tying. Wait, wait is that four? No, it's the go-ahead. So we're ahead 6-5 now. And now he's going back to the bullpen, and he brings in Olsen, who we were tagging last game. And he hits a ground ball to third base. will probably be a double play. No, he makes another error. Are you, are you kidding me? Gold Glove third baseman makes two errors in this inning alone. And now the, the um, bases are juiced, and there's a strikeout by Mendick. So there's two down. That brings up Tim Anderson in a very key spot. Come on. No, he hits a fly ball. He continues to have a terrible series. Um, I'm going to the bullpen. I mean, we're ahead now, so we're going to bring in the big guns. And now I'm going right to um, I'm going right to C Shack. And if we have to pitch C Shack tw two innings, so be it. Although he leads off by walking Reyes. Cesar Hernandez is up, and he is going to hit a ground ball to short for a double play. And that brings up Luke Blow. And Luke Blow is hitting a single. So she said, I mean, they continue to hit us. Our pitching is just not getting these guys out. Jake Bowers up, and he hits a ground ball to second. Let's see if Mendick can make that play. Now it goes through for a hit. 
I'm going to try to keep C-Check in for this inning at least, and he does um, get out of the inning. They don't get the run, but C-Check is tired, so I'll probably be replacing him in the ninth. Garcia is up, and he hits a ground ball to second. And he's out. And Olsen's all right, despite the fact that he might have tweaked something. Moncada is out. And that brings up Ben Canarcio. And we'll swing away with him. He hits a ground ball to Hernandez. And he is on. So McCann is up at the plate. And he hits a fly ball. All right, so I'm going to make some changes. I'm going to bring in, defensively, I'm going to bring in um, Engel to play center field. And I am going to bring in Fry to pitch the night. And he'll, he'll end up walking Lindor. That brings up, well, they're trying, and they're out. That was really kind of, I don't know about that call. That was stupid on their part. So Mercado is up, and he strikes out. And Santana is going to get a single. They're still alive. Down by a run with Ramirez up, and he hits a ground ball to third. Moncada got him. So we end up winning the game by the slimmest of margins, six to five. Um, Keuchel gets the win, uh, despite pitching terribly. And Ciszek gets the hold. And, um, and then the save goes to, to uh, Jeff Fry, the Fry guy. So we uh, take three out of four from Cleveland, as it turns out, and we move our record to 11 and five with the Indians going to six and 11. So that's it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.